Welcome everyone to Messages from Your Divine Masculine here. We're going to take a look at the energy here and what it is they'd like to communicate with you or what's going on with them emotionally here. Now, as always, guys, these messages are going to be general, so please just keep that in mind. If you are after a personalized tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address just below the video here. So we'll go ahead and give the cards a shuffle and see what messages are coming in for you today here from your Divine Masculine. Page of Swords here. The Knight of Wands, the Emperor, the Eight of Swords here. Okay, so with their energy here, it feels like they can be a little bit emotionally infantile or emotionally juvenile here. The Page of Cups here, um, Pages, you've got the Page of Cups and the Page of Swords, and Pages are often known as Messenger Cards. And with the Page of Cups, I'm seeing that it's possible that your Divine Masculine here wants to send you a message, and it's possible that um, you will be receiving communication from them um, regarding an emotional message of some sort. Um, this message feels like it's to do with feelings and emotions here. Now, because of the unexpected appearance of the fish, this sig signifies um, a sort of, um, it adds sort of like a novelesque or a fairy tale like approach to the card, and it's also something quite unexpected. So I feel like perhaps communication might arrive from your divine masculine out of the blue, or this message that they open up and share with you sort of catches you a little bit off guard. You weren't expecting it here. Um, I'm seeing that it's this message here is it's like an um, invite here. Um, they want you to have an open mind, or they want you to keep an, an open mind regarding a situation here. I'm also seeing that there's a curiosity aspect to your divine masculine um, energy. Um, so if the two of you are currently not communicating here, then this person, um, their energy feels as though they may be doing. They're trying to keep tabs on you. This person, um, your person here, wants to know. If you have been communicating with anyone, they're trying to um, they're trying to do some stalking. Um, they're trying to Google search you here. They're just trying to find out as much information they can about you. And especially for those of you that are like not communicating or you're getting to know one another, I feel like this person is trying to read up on uh, read up and find out about um, as much about you as they can here. Your Divine Masculine, something feels out of reach for them. I don't know why this is, but something feels almost um, out of touch. Like um, either they feel like you're not approachable or the situation right now feels unattainable between you and um, between you and them. The message that I feel like your Divine Masculine wants to communicate but is holding back because they're not sure how you're going to receive it is because they're such a free spirit, okay? They feel a very strong connection with you um, and they do have there's some strong emotion um there's a strong emotional um, experience that the two of you had um, or they feel like a very strong emotional um, connection here with you. However, um, I feel like your um, their energy here tells me that they're a little hesitant. They're a little hesitant with actually entering into a relationship. This is someone who is a free spirit. Um, they do not like to be tied down. Okay, so though, although they feel um, that you, the two of you share a very special connection and I feel like some of these emotions are even a little bit um, unfamiliar territory to them, like they've never felt this way about anyone before. They've never had this curiosity, this wanting to get to know someone. Um, they've never had these emotions for anyone else. However, I'm seeing that like, regardless of how strong these feelings are, they feel this there's a very stubborn energy here okay there's a lack of readiness on their part here to enter into a relationship or to enter into something long term this is someone who may have an inability to um they 
may have like a fear of emotional intimacy or they may have an inability to um, commit here to an actual um, like relationship here they're definitely doing some they're definitely doing some spying some stalking here or they're talking about you with their friends here they're trying to it's like there's this curiosity here they're definitely very curious about you they're wanting to know uh, more and more about you there's definitely communication coming in here as I've mentioned so even if the two of you are not communicating right now um, that's going to change that's going to shift so they're holding back um, because I feel like they want you to reach out because they're a very stubborn energy so it's almost like they want you to reach out and communicate first or they want you to be the one who initiates conversation they're they're a little bit um headstrong there's also very nervous energy around your divine masculine here um there's a nervous um, kind of energy here there's just too much in there's too much going on inside their head um, there's a I feel like you get them nervous okay they feel a little bit nervous um, being around you they feel a little bit nervous reaching out and communicating to you um, because I um, because I feel like they don't know how you're going to respond to them here this nervous kind of energy also borders on um, anxiousness so they're also they could also be fearful of reaching out to you purely because they're scared of any emotional confrontation okay they might have with the full card um, they might this is um, someone who might have ghosted you or who might have disappeared and pulled away um, and now their emotional state seems as though they're a little um, anxious here or a little nervous here to communicate here um, it could also signal to me the page of cups could also signal that your divine masculine here has um, other conflicts that um, they may want to address with you but they're scared they're scared they're not coming forward with it there's something here they're not telling you seven of wands here i'm seeing that I feel like they want to voice their opinion about something. I feel like there's something here that they want to tell you, but they feel like it's not going to be well received. I do feel like they're holding back some sort of communication from you. So um, it could be that your person here, you know, they want they want you. Um, they want the convenience of a uh, relationship, but without commitment. It could be that because I feel like whatever it is, I, I don't feel like you're on the same page regarding this. Um, particular topic of discussion I'm also there's a fighting energy that I'm seeing around your divine masculine right now and I feel like your divine masculine is come, is going to come back into the picture or if they're you know in the picture right now I feel like there's there's something here that they're trying to fight for they're either trying to fight to stay in your life or they're trying to fight um, for this connection I feel like there's something here that they're trying to fight for the seven of wands could also mean that your divine masculine here um, because there's such a they're a very fluid um, kind of energy um, there's like a light-heartedness to their energy okay um, I did sort of deem it like a little bit emotionally immature or juvenile but I feel like a lot of you have already you know seen hints of this uh, showing up in their personality um, so I feel like your divine masculine actually needs boundaries okay otherwise they will continue to overstep and push boundaries further and further and I feel like that's what they're doing here so I feel like the seven of ones is maybe a message to you that you need to set up if you want this to um, if you want this to work I'm seeing that maybe you need to set up uh, boundaries here with your um, divine masculine here I'm also seeing objections with the seven of wands I feel like there's objections here that are coming from other um, parties so I don't know if you've got connecting energies who are objecting um, to this connection okay or I don't know if there's connecting energies on their end that sort of um, you know object and oppose the two of you actually being together here They're holding on to they're holding on to the feeling that they 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 will come back or that the two of you will become a thing. Um, they're very stubborn, right? They're very stubborn with the Empress energy, and they're very set in their ways here. 
there's definitely something i feel like your divine masculine wants to communicate something to you here so there's definitely a message that your divine masculine wants to tell you wants to share with you but they're so scared of coming forward here with the eight of swords this is someone who's very um who's very i feel like they're scared or they're nervous here to open up and tell you because i feel like um, either they fear your rejection or they fear your response here The Eight of Swords also tells me, I feel like there is going to be a lot of communication here, a lot of communication, but I'm also seeing that for some reason, I feel like your Divine Masculine feels trapped. Um, they feel trapped or they feel very restricted by their current set of circumstances. So if there's something here, you know, if this connection here is not happening, um, if things aren't um, flourishing or blossoming in the way that you want it to happen, it's because your Divine Masculine feels a sense of entrapment or they feel somehow um, really restricted by the um, current set of circumstances here. They feel like they can't move. There's like, it's there's like a restricted movement with their energy here. I feel like your Divine Masculine also wants you to know that um, I don't know that there could be your energy here. Okay, I feel like they are coming across as they do come across as a, a bit of a player type or someone who's non-committal, a non-committal type of energy. But with the Eight of Swords, I I feel like this is. Um, reassurance that I feel like your divine masculine is unwilling to uh, venture out and meet others they don't want necessarily a relationship it's not that they don't want a relationship with you or long, something long term or something consistent with you I just feel like they're not ready for one in general um, and I feel like the eight of swords tells me that there's an unwillingness for them to venture out and go out uh, and meet other people here okay so I feel like they're sort of step the energies that they're staying put here I feel like their energy is very focused on you as well. So they do want you. They do want for this to happen. Maybe they're scared to attach a label to this. Maybe they're scared to put a title to this. Um, but there is something that your Divine Masculine isn't necessarily coming forward with here. Some, um, some communication or some information here. That might potentially alter the way you see them and you see this connection here. Okay, guys, and these are your messages. Thank you, as always, for watching and listening. Please show your support by subscribing to the channel, liking, sharing, or commenting. I will be sharing with you more tarot love messages, so do stay tuned. And thanks, guys, again. Bye for now.